I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this well, hello and welcome to another treasure hunting adventure. It should be interesting today. Uh, we're not bringing any detectors or anything. We're pretty much just land combing and exploring. Uh, we're back here in Newport for one more time because I've never done this bay along here and I've seen glass shards and stuff over there. So we're gonna check that out real quick. I'm here with my son and Dave and we're waiting on Ezra from Easy Digging. He should be here in a, shortly. So, anyways, we're gonna get down over the hill here and see if we can find anything here, and then uh, we're gonna be heading out to a different spot. So we'll see you when we find some treasure. All right, as these guys try to get down off the hill, look at this sticking right out. It looks like a piece of a porcelain sign. If I can get it out. Is there anything big with? No, I didn't bring in anything. Oh, oh you dick. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did that, not mean it. I swear to God. That was like Dad's like most important thing. And he still <laughs> stepped right on my coffee. Pardon my language. I swear I didn't mean to. All right, we gotta find something to pry that up with. We uh, shall return. So it definitely looks like a, a piece of a porcelain sign. Yeah, it even has words on it still. That's pretty good. First find. Hold on, let's see if we can pry it up a little bit more. It's, it's big and don't bend it. Be careful of smashing it with a rock, too. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That was not showing last year. Look at that. Try not to scratch it up too much, Jake. Be ca very careful. That's cool for a find. It looks like it, we found the edge, I think. Hold on, don't do that. Nope, it's continuing. Let me see this. It's like archaeology here. Ooh. Easy. Easy hey, does it, Captain. Look at that. Be very careful because we don't want to damage the lettering and stuff. That is awesome. Keep going just coming down over the hill and I was we metal taken all over this place last year well we're gonna get that out and then we'll get it on camera for you all right look at that first find of the day and it's a I believe a standard oil company sign I could be wrong but it says standard right there and heavy that's a pretty cool piece for it to say heavy like that first thing we find never know unless you go Woo! Peace. Next up, I think we found a piece of uranium glass. If we can get it out without breaking it. This has been a pretty neat day already. Found that little sign. We're working on this. Maybe if we put a little water in there, it'll help. It'll just freeze. I think I might loosen it a little bit. All right, we're gonna dig this out and then we'll see. It's a black light. So anyways, there's the piece of glass that Nicholas found. We're gonna test it later to see if it's uranium glass or not. Looks like it. I think it is. It looks like it. Yeah. But that's pretty awesome. So these are our first two finds of the day and we're just walking, like I said. And we got two or three streams that we're gonna go check out today. So should be a good day. But I hope you guys are enjoying that. And we're gonna move on just a little bit and then we're gonna get up there to meet Ezra. So we'll see you in a bit. Well, you all know me. I hear the train are coming. They're coming around the bend. Wow, that was the shortest train ever. <laughs> I didn't expect that. But all right, Ezra's finally here and we're gonna head over to a new spot and hopefully find some treasure. We'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, we're done. Oh, <laughs> Ezra's already almost dying. All right, so 
Me and the guys here, we are in Corena. Um, we're gonna walk the edge of the, the river here in Corena. No telling what we could find. I always say that and then we find something neat. So let us get down there and we will see what we find. Peace. Oh, Nicholas found something. Almost a full thing of Gorilla Glue. I told you it was a blue snip. Well, there you go. It's $2. All right, we'll see you guys in a bit. And of course, it goes in my bag. Gorilla cock! <laughs> I found his first cock. Yeah, he found some cock. You guys. All right, we're going to get down there. So, we want to spread out a little bit and walk in a line so we don't miss anything. All right, so we're gonna just spread out, just fan out just a, a hair and scan the wood, woods and see if we can see anything. I think when we get up here, we have to get closer to the river because there's gonna be, we're gonna be behind houses. Yeah. So once we start seeing somebody's property, we will uh, get closer to the river. All right, so we're getting down in here. We're starting to find some remnants of stuff. This is the old milk. That would have been nice to find the whole thing. And we found some ketchup, broken ketchups. So we're gonna keep going and looking. All right, we're down on the other side of the river because couldn't get past. Oh, a porcelain sign. Another one? Another one. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> yes. I think I found one of these before. Oh, look at that pig's face right there. <laughs> Yeah, that's porcelain too. Oh, that's cool. Look at that, guys. That is sweet. Oink, oink. All right, we're going to keep hunting. I'm starting to find some stuff. All right, so Ezra found a 1920, what did you say, 29? 29. Yeah, Coke cool. bottle, but the bottom was blown out of it. And we've just found this little shoreline with all kinds of remnants of bottles and stuff. So we're just taking a second and scoping it all out. Make sure we don't pass anything, stoppers or anything. But I just wanted to show you guys and see all that. It goes right into the river. Mostly broken. I think the storm changed a lot of stuff down here. Milk bottle? Yeah. Yep, yeah, cool. All right, we're going to keep scoping around. We'll see you in a bit. All right. I'm waiting for these guys to catch back up. I've gotten to a point, there's a little place where I'm going to sit. There's some barrels and a little bit of stuff down in here, so I'm going to search around a little bit and wait for these guys. They're coming. We decided to take high ground. It was getting mucky down there. All right. Still hiking along, we'll see what else we find. Um, nothing through here. All right, so we found a few old things in a good spot to come metal tech sometime. But we're gonna head back out of this place and go try to find another spot. It is what it is. When you're adventuring, you can't always find the treasure. You just find what's treasure to you. All right, now we're down here in St. Albans, one of my old spots. I'm gonna do some, met uh, not metal detecting, some su just searching around. Should be easier to see. So we'll see when we get down here. <laughs> These guys. Well, I'm gonna keep this one because it says Bluebird and I don't have one. Uh, it's broke, but Dave found himself a Michelob. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. That's pretty cool. It's got a bird on it and everything. Bird's eye view. Maybe someday I'll find a better one. He found a pile of bottles under the tree. They look mostly broken. I'm gonna walk around the other side. I made it! <laughs> I'm here! Is that some leather? Some lead it felt like. That's weird. What do we got right there? Ah, oh, dude, anybody wanna want this? 
It's only it's broke, but it's a Newport bottling. Oh yeah. Well, I might keep it anyways. Well, I was trying to be nice. Fine. Yeah, I'll trade you. Okay. Oh. See, right there, I found a sign before. We're just scoping around. I found a few broken bottles. I picked them up. Found a piece of a license plate. Yeah. Today I'm keeping some weird stuff. Ezra found a, a cap gun. A little surface scratch in. It's awesome. Who's going to need that busted piece of pot right You there. just got done saying the X marks the spot. I did. Sweet. <laughs> just remnants, but everything's frozen, so we're doing the best we can. Yeah, she definitely froze. Cool. Good job, Ezra. I was happy. I was happy. I was happy. Just scratching around in here, folks. Look, is that looks like fucking part of a rain's guide. I was thinking that's like the part that goes up like this. Yeah, the hook and knot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it could be. Because that's where they tie the... Yeah, that, 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 it's a good, very good yeah. possibility. Because I mean, that's very rains guidey. It's just hanging in the tree, folks. Yeah. Anybody got any ideas what that is? I'm sure there's a bunch of you out there that know exactly what that is. It's giant. Yeah, because there's a thing that comes out of here and that you can wrap a, a rope around. Yeah. I mean, she's definitely old, that screw, you know. Pretty neat, good eye, has right? Yeah. Still got some leather on it too, bud. She definitely had something going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely rains guidey though, for sure. I'd say. Is that? That's the piece of glass I just looked at. Yeah. Just yeah. green. Yeah. Mm. Well, cool. Let's see what else we found. Well, Dave found himself a little <laughs> medicine bottle. Right in the rocks. Cool, Dave. I claimed it. <laughs> Once it thaws out out here, more we'll be able to find more. I'm gonna have to go look over that way. <laughs> There's all kinds of stuff in here. Doorknob. Dave, can you grab that little brown bottle for me too? It's a ball cannon jar. Sweet, that's a pretty cool find. Right there, Dave, that, right by your foot. There, there's a brown jar sticking out. Is it just a piece? Right, right straight down from, look at my finger. Yeah, you see it? Just a piece? Just a piece. Dang. I'm trying to get that teacup. I think it's only a half of one. Look at that fucker. Broken? Uh, I don't know. That's too smooth to get it. I'm gonna have to come down here and get in here. All kinds of pieces of stuff right there. Summertime, doing a pair of shorts and water shoes and walk through. We're in a pretty good spot. Dave's all riding over there. He found something. Pretty cool spot. All kinds of stuff over there. Wow, oh, that's a pretty nice one. That's a nice one, Dave. Well, yeah. Where's the other one you found? Yeah, uh, pickle, I think. That one's cool. Listerine? I don't know, but. Yeah, it's a Listerine bottle. It says Listerine. Yeah, I'm surprised cool. it survived intact. Cool. I wasn't even looking at that. I'm looking in there. 
probably a whole bunch of them on this hillside. You know, take your shovel and... It's like right here, you're just, it's a, a pile of them, you just push some of that out. That's a pregnancy test, I think. No, that's a electrical conduit oh. thing. <laughs> take your shovel and push the dirt and see if there's more bottles underneath there. Well, that works. Probably we gotta get in here. There's probably bottles all through here. They have graders. Well, I'll come back in the summertime. It would be cool to get out snorkel kits. Oh, that's cool. Cannon jar lid. Maybe go to that. Nope. Oh. Well, I probably have a lid that will fit that. That's awesome though. That says. December, February 12th of 1956, December 17th of 61, November 4th of 62, Dude. December, Dude. Nice. December 6th of 64, that's pretty cool. Sitting right there. Awesome, I think that was some sort of flavoring extra. Uh, Found a, a crush, a kiss, a kiss. Sorry, I can't. I can't get it out. It's broken. I don't know if Dave wants it. If he does, he can have it. I'm just gonna take a brief look around in here. A bunch of stuff washed this way. I've been seeing little pieces of porcelain and stuff like that. Find it? It's right here. It's almost a whole bottle, it's just missing the top. So it says kiss on it. She put the shovel under it, but it should pop right out. Oh yeah, it'll pop out. There you go. Yay! Wow, that's a fucking heavy bottle too. Shit out of it. Dave, yep. watch your swears when I'm recording. How was I supposed to know you were recording? Huh? <laughs> All right, so our treasure hunting ended. The rivers were too high in the last spots we went to. And so now we're in here gonna play a game of pool and have a little fun for the rest of the day. But I hope you guys enjoyed the little bits and pieces of the stuff we found. Um, when things thaw out, it'll be a little easier to get in there, but we just wanted to take it and go enjoy the day and see what was up. So we'll see you next time. Keep on naturing. Peace. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll show up. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up. So instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against